when you guys did the VMAs mm-hmm. and you stopped and there was like the cutout that said King of Pop and Michael Jackson comes out. Right. <laughs> a, how did that happen? B, what the fuck? Yeah, that, trying to make a like- long story short on that shit because this story was actually pretty cool. Uh, we got asked to do his icon show that was at Madison Square Garden. This is right before 9-11, actually, right if I'm not mistaken. Right before 9-11. He asked us to do that. We said, okay, we'd love to do that. He said, you know, we want to do it with the Jackson 5. We did this whole performance with them. We were talking about it. Haven't done the rehearsals yet or anything. So when they asked us to do that, we came up with the idea of, since we're performing for the MTV Awards, let's get Michael to sing a verse. Let's add a new verse for pop, completely designed for him. Like his whole thing, like making he's the king of pop kind of thing. And he was going to sing. I believe Justin talked to Michael. Uh, everything was good. Everybody said yes. We were great. And all of a sudden, we hang up. And all of a sudden, like I think a, a day later, his people call and say, Jan- uh, J- uh, Michael will not do that. He's not performing. He's not doing anything. He has his icon show. This is when his comeback. So we're not doing it. Don't even think about it. It's not going to happen. So we went, okay. And then Johnny, our manager, was like, well, what do you want to do? I'm like, what do you mean what do you want to do? He goes, well, he asked you to sing on his show, and he's not doing your show. So we went, hmm, tell him no. We won't no. do it then. So we literally all looked at each other like we had, and we, we, I was nervous as hell because I'm like, damn, we just told, you know, the king of pop, fuck you, basically. <laughs> so we told him, if you're not doing our performance, we're not doing yours. So we stopped and I left it at that. Then we get a call. Well, he can't sing, but we want him to dance. Well, we can't. How? And then we literally were negotiating how long he was going to dance on the stage and how long we were going to do that. He never, obviously, he wasn't there for the rehearsal. We kept it all quiet. When, the, when that extra sketch thing came down, the King of Pop thing was not even on there and we stopped the music and that was the end of it. Nobody knew. He came out before literally, he was there maybe 10 minutes before the performance. We were backstage waiting all in there. And he finally comes out. Michael comes there. We say hi to him, everything. He literally goes on the floor. He puts his feet on the floor, makes sure everything's all right. Kind of did a little dance for a second, spun in a circle. was like, all right, I'm good. And that was it. He heard the music. We never, we had no idea what the hell he was going to do. No clue. So we were just like, all right, he's going to dance. He's going to do this, this, this. He's going to sit on the chair. We're going to hand him a little pop and that'd be the end of it. That was it. So... Finally, again, like I said, he agreed to do that. He was going to come out. He came out and danced. Because, again, mind you, he hasn't been out for like over 15 or 20 years or something like that. That was the first time before he even came out for his icon show, which think about that. So that's the we power made Michael of Jackson. NSYNC yeah, exactly. at that point. That's how big <laughs> yeah, you was, were at that point. I, I've learned, and, and actually Jordan Knight told me this, New Kids on the Block, years ago when he first, when we started really getting popular. And I kept, I hung out with him and, and Joey Mack a few times. He literally even said, know your power. And he goes, it's not supposed to much take advantage of it, but he always even says, know the power that you have on these certain situations of certain things. Know the power. And that stuck with me, believe it or not. 